Hey everybody, Rick Ward, the Urban Air Gunner. Welcome back. Um, on this episode, we're going to talk about knife sharpening. Guys, this is something that is pretty much a lost art. Um, it, it really doesn't matter how you sharpen a knife in, in a lot of respects. Um, if, if it doesn't, you know, if you just want it to be a rough cut, you're going to go out and just, just hack something down or, or whatever. But if you want a really fine edge, one that you can shave with, a precision edge, um, one that will hold for quite some time on your knife, you need a good sharpening stone. You need the right equipment to sharpen your knives with. Um, that's where the Uncle Henry, this is the Uncle Henry 8-inch Tri-Stone. It, uh, it has a fine, medium, and coarse grit on here. It comes with some premium honing oil, which is very important to use honing oil on a whetstone. Um, what that does is as you're, as you're um, sharpening and honing on your knife, metal shavings will fill up in the pores of the stone. So the honing oil not only helps it make a smooth cut across the top of that, but it also helps push all that stuff out of there. Um, it, it, it just keeps the, the pores of the stone from plugging up so you can continue to get that nice rough um, edge on there. And um, for this, I've got an imperial knife. Now, if you saw my other videos, knives that survived my childhood, um, guys, this knife is well over 40 years old. Um, I got this knife when I was about six years old as a gift. Um, Imperial brand knives are, um, they use like stainless steel, uh, just covers on there and little stainless steel pins on them, celluloid handles. Guys, they're, they're inexpensive knives. I'm not going to say they're cheap knives. Uh, of course, this one's back from, you know, the 1970s, the late 60s, the early 70s. And um, the, the thing about this knife is that they still make the Imperial today. But now, when I was a kid, um, say, eight years old, um, you know, we'd go to the store. We, we used to see these Imperial knives. I've got them where I bought them for like $1.99 back in the 70s. And so they weren't really known for being the best of the best, but um, they're absolutely, <laughs> you know, it kind of sounds kind of contradictory, but it's a great little knife. It really is. Um, so what I'm going to do, and it's, it's got a fairly decent edge. Let's see what the, okay, so the little guy really has not got much of an edge. Um, let's see. I mean, it'll cut, but it doesn't cut, doesn't cut smooth. Um, we got a piece of leather here. It'll take some small swipes off the leather, but, but not as good as what I would like. What you want to do, it's very simple, guys. You want to take, put you a couple drops of, of honing oil on here. Now, there's different types of stones, and um, not every stone is going to give you the same performance. You notice how all that oil has kind of penetrated into those, those pores right there. What I like to do, now this is just what I do. I, um, I look at my knife and I figure out the grind line on that thing. And that may be like a 20 degree grind line. So what I do is I lay my knife flat on the stone and I lift it up just until that grind line meets. There's no daylight under there. Um, you know, if you if you take and lay it down there, you can you can run a piece of paper under it. Okay. So when you're first learning out how to sharpen a knife, you could take that and turn that up just a little bit until you can't see so you can't pull it out of there. So you've got it just like that. So you've got that angle, and it's just it's a matter of keeping that same angle. And this is just a guide to kind of help you understand that, you know, where that angle's at. Obviously, you don't want to get it like that. You don't want to get it too sharp of an angle, too steep. 
but just barely set it up just like that. And uh, what you're going to try to do is you want to try to cut, pretend like you're cutting a slice off the top of that. So if you were going to take and, and, and split that piece of paper, you know, just like that, you're going to take a slice off the top of that stone. So you're going to take your knife and you're just going to gently bring it across. You don't have to bear down on it. You know, I see a lot of guys that will sit in there and they just grind and grind and grind on that knife. And then they wonder why they can't get it sharp because what they're doing essentially is they're rolling that edge. This edge will literally roll over to one side. Actually, it would roll up this way if you were grinding this way or if you're going this way, it would roll up. So that's the purpose of, of doing a couple swipes, maybe just three on this side and maybe three over here. Um, and you could feel you could feel the roughness starting to build in there, um, and it, it drags a little bit on the paper, so it's it's not quite there yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over. Now this is the uh, super fine side right here. I had it on medium, so we got a couple drops of oil on here, and this is this is by far one of the best stones that I believe I've ever used in my life. I absolutely love the Uncle Henry stones. You know, they have legendary, legendary knives, legendary sharpening stones. And uh, basically with the fine stone, all you want to do, all you're trying to do is get all the, um, you're trying to get all the imperfections out of the blade. Okay? So when you grind, when you, I say grind, when you're, when you're honing an edge, um, especially if you start off with the rough one, if you don't have any edge on it at all and you start off with the coarse stone, uh, if you could imagine it being rough uh, like sandpaper or maybe uh, maybe a bunch of nicks in your blade like a really fine microscopic comb or something, you know, you just have or a saw, you know, like a really fine saw blade has little teeth in it. Um, a knife that's not sharp has about the same thing in there. Um, so what you want to do is you just you take your grind line and you just you don't have to bear down on it You just slice it right across the top just like that and there's no um, You can work on these knives until they're just so extremely sharp and the finer um, honing apparatus that you have uh, Just the better that this thing is going to get sharp or the sharper it's going to get and uh, so what we're going to do, I want to keep on, I want to bring that edge up just a little bit. And I want to slice off. And basically what you're trying to do is you want to pretend like you're, you're coming across here like this. And as you come across, you want to bring off, you're just trying to take a slice, just a thin imaginary slice off that. Um, and you want to hold it the same, the same on, on either side. And you just need a couple couple little swipes bring some of that oil back over here to this side and uh, boy I tell you I just I love the tri-stone because this gives you a perfect base you don't uh, um, a lot of stones you buy I've got some old sharpening stones that you kind of hold in your hand you try to sharpen it well you know this this takes out that that factor of, of you know cut in your hands because you could sit here and hold it at the base of this and uh, boy it just continues to get get sharper and sharper and uh, that's the cool thing now one little thing that will uh, will help you I got an old piece of um, leather here and um, let's see if I can do this right here. I don't normally, um, I've got a, uh, a leather strop. But you can take and you can strop this. And that's going to take out every little, this is a piece of harness leather. It's an old set of reins that broke. Um, horse stepped on them and, and broke them. But, um, Let's uh, get us a piece of paper here. And you can hear, 
you can actually hear how smooth that is uh, that's cutting. It um, when it gets down there to the ends where it catches, but that little old bitty tiny blade just just pushes right right through that paper. So um, you know, I mean, you can you can uh, bring your knife to hair popping uh, perfection um, just by taking a little bit of time and um, learning the angle that your knife is at. That little silver grind line. Right through there, uh, if you can see that. That is called the grind line, and uh, that's where your edge is at. Now, if you use a machine, they have these, you know, they're already set and angled, and you can cut through there, but, you know, when you're putting an edge on your knife, you're putting your touch, you're putting your, your effort, your skill. You know, it's therapeutic. There's times that I'll sit up there in the old man cave, and, um, I'll lay all my knives out, and I'll just I'll just run them all across the fine part of the stone. Um, you know, having a sharp knife is kind of like having an empty uh, empty canteen. Um, you know, if your canteen's empty and someone asks for your drink of water, it ain't doing either one of you any good. Well, if somebody wants to borrow your knife or you need your knife and, and it's dull, it's not doing you any good. So it's always good to keep your knife sharp. So. The more you work on the knife, the more you strop it, I mean, just the, the better this thing is, is going to get. And um, I actually have a, a uh, piece of leather on a, on a board um, that I use, and I just don't have it with me out here. Uh, but this old rain is... is just perfect for that. It's kind of like stropping an old razor. And all you're doing is you're you're using that leather to polish the edge into a hair splitting um, sharpness. Just razor sharp. And um, you know, again, you can you, know, you can sit out here and and, and do it all day. Um, it's just a uh, you know, it's just an old knife. Um, since I'm doing it, I'm gonna do the other one. <laughs> so you take it and um, just run it across that fine stone a couple times. The Uncle Henry um, eight-inch tri-stone. They make a six-inch tri-stone, but you know they make a smaller model. But there's nothing like sharpening a knife on one of these mean machines. It's uh, these stones. They, I mean, they just absolutely hold the oil that you put on there. I mean, I I'm telling you guys, I. I I'm not going to bore you with a video of all the sharpening stones that I have, but I've got a bucket full of them. And um, it just absolutely um, is uh, a great stone. So we strop it just a little bit. Just like that. And all we're doing is just polishing up the uh, polishing up. See, you know, you get a good edge on one and you strop it a couple times. That is the secret to having a sharp knife is using a good piece of leather to strop your knife with. Fresh piece of paper. Let me get over here where I can, wind's trying to blow the paper out of my hand. This little blade's kind of hard to, uh, kind of hard to hold here. I mean, it just absolutely, I'm going to have confetti all over the place, but uh, just absolutely a sharp, uh, 
sharp deal there. Um, look at him. Uncle Henry, 285 UH. Now, remember what I said? You could, you could see the grind line. This one's not, not rusty. Um, 7CR17, high carbon stainless steel. Um, it's got a really nice fine edge on it. You don't have to bear that. You don't have to sit there and grab. And, and I see a lot of people sitting there grinding on them things and swirling. But if you think about the swirl, what happens is that winds up putting swirls on your, on your edge. So you're not really, yes, it'll cut, but it's not going to be just hair popping sharp and dependable when you need it. So uh, what I like to do is you could lay the knife down and you can actually see daylight underneath it. If you tip it just a little bit to where it closes up the daylight, all you're doing is you're gently running across the top. Just gently. Um, you know, the finer the stone, the better the, uh, the polish on the edge is going to be. And uh, just a couple swipes across there. And uh, then I'm going to put the leather to it. And uh, typically you want a wider piece of leather, like a piece of uh, latigo or, or something. But uh, I just happen to have this uh, old broken set of reins up here that's, that's a very thick harness leather. And um, I'm actually thinking about taking and gluing some down to a uh, stick or a board or something and uh, use it. Um, it's just a matter of polishing that uh, that edge and whoo. Man, I know this video's running long, but look at that. That gun mosquitoes. That dude's trying to eat my, drink my blood, ain't he? But I mean, just look at this right straight across. I mean, no effort whatsoever. Guys, that is how you sharpen your knife. I mean, um, check it out. The Tri-Stone, it has coarse, medium, and fine. Comes with a little one ounce bottle of honing oil. When you run out of oil, you can either order more oil online uh, at Taylor Brands or your favorite retailer. Um, I've always used three-in-one household oil. Um, and, and again, that oil is just helping you, not only is it keeping that blade cool and helping it slide, but it's, it's cleaning the pores out of the stone. So uh, anyway, that's it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave your comments below. Um, again, I am not a knife expert. I've just been using the things uh, since I was a kid. And, uh, you know, this is just my take on the whole deal. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, check them out online, taylorbrandsllc.com. This is Rick Ward, the Urban Air Gunner. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.